Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we're going to learn about a very interesting pattern which is known as the Collatz Conjecture. This is given on page number 68, chapter number 3, an unsolved mystery, the Collatz Conjecture. This was given by German mathematician Lothar Collatz and it is still date an unsolved mystery. Many mathematicians, they have tried to prove this, are still working on it. It still remains an unsolved problem. So let's see what is this Collatz conjecture. The meaning of conjecture is something that we get without any proof, which means that this pattern is true. However, we cannot prove it. There is no proof for this. That is the reason we call it conjecture. There are two rules that we need to follow. If the number is even, we need to take half of it. If the number is odd, multiply it by 3 and then add 1 and go on repeating this process till you get 1. Let us understand this with some examples. Let us see we start with 12. 12 is an even number. First you should know what is an even number and odd number. Even numbers are like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The numbers which are divisible by 2 and odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. These are odd numbers. Okay. So here 12 is an even number. So we have to take half of this. Half of 12 is 6. 6 even number. Take half of this. That would be 3. 3 is an odd number. So we will multiply by 3 and add 1. 3 3 is a 9 plus 1 is 10. So the next number is 10. Let us put commas. Now 10 is an even number. Take half of this. That is 5. 5 is an odd number. So multiply by 3 and add 1. 15 plus 1, 16. 16 is an even number. Take half of this. Half of 16 is 8. 8 is an even number. Half is 4. 4 even number. Half would be 2. 2 is an even number. That would be 1. So this is the pattern that we will get. Let us take the next number which is 17. 17 is an odd number. So we will multiply by 3 plus 1 and we would get 52. So 52, 52 is an even number. Half of 52, that is 52 divided by 2 is 26. 26 is an even number. Half of this 13. 13 is an odd number. So multiply by 3 plus 1. 39 plus 1. 40. So we get 40. 40 is an even number. So that will be 20. 20 even number. Divide by 2. We get 10. 10 is an even number. And now see it will follow this pattern. 10, 5, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So 10, 5, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. The next example is 21. Odd number. So multiply by 3. So 21 times 3 plus 1. So that would be equal to 64. 64 divided by 2. 64 divided by 2. 3 is a 6. 2, 2 is a 4. So 32. 32 even number. Divide by 2. That will be 16. We can see here 16. 16, that means the rest of the pattern would be 8, 4, 2, 1. So we see that there is something common in each of these patterns. See here, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So it ends with 1 and it is like 8, 4, 2, 1, 8, 4, 2, 1, 8, 4, 2, 1. So this happens with all the numbers. Any number you take, you will get at the end the same pattern. Hope you understood how to get this. So the next number you can take is 22 and this one you try yourself. Try this the same way. This is an even number. So take half of this. If you get an odd number, multiply by 3, add 1. If you get an even number, again take half of this. Try to complete this pattern. Well, that's all for now. See you all in the next video. Thank you.